For those of you who've been part of our YouTube community, you know how much I've been talking about providing security to your kids. The picture that you're looking at is a 61 year old man who got married to an 18 year old girl. I'm gonna say girl because this is not a woman. In modern society, that's nothing because you know, she's 18, she's an adult now, she does whatever she wants, wah, 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 wah. Okay, good, good. The problem with this picture is that there's a backstory and the backstory is just as creepy as they come. This grown man that you're looking at in this picture started to date this young girl since she was 14, right? They have a two year old together, which means somebody was going after her when she was underage. It's already weird for me to watch a 61 year old man getting married with an 18 year old because you know, if you're getting married now, that means you've already been there. But to make it worse, this young lady already has a two year old for that guy, which means by 16, this young girl got pregnant. But there's more to the story. This guy used to date this girl's mother. This guy is also this girl's godfather, which means this guy used to have a strong connection with this girl's mother. Because that's the only way I would consider making somebody my son's godfather, right? I need to really know you. God forbid something happened to me. I'm gonna need you to provide security to my son. This is me thinking in a positive way, right? At least that's what I expect. So this guy came from dating the mother, becoming that child's godfather, but instead of providing proper security to that child, he ended up not only getting with her, getting her pregnant, and on top of that, married her. I don't know, maybe he thinks just because he got married to the girl that's supposed to help the whole situation, but this is just trash. Because there's no way that a 59 year old man should be getting a 16 year old pregnant. This, this is just impossible to me. I cannot even process that whole situation. What about security? Let's do a little math here. This guy is 61, this girl is 18, which means when this guy was 43, this girl was just born. When this guy was 43, this girl was just born. And that's why I be telling parents, as single parent, you have to be very careful when it comes to who you allow to be around your kids. Because with the many stories about people taking advantage of people's kids sexually, you would expect people would think about one thing when they have kids, provide your kids with security, right? That boyfriend, that girlfriend that you just met on the internet should not meet your kids within the first week of you getting to know that person. This is just impossible. You don't even know who you're dealing with. When your kids come to you telling you they need protection from somebody, you don't just tell them to shut up or they don't know what they're talking about. You need to provide them with security because there are a lot of sick people out there. And whatever this little girl is calling love because she went online talking about, yeah, you guys are just jealous the fact that I'm happy. Girl, you are stuck in the trauma bunny. You don't even know what you're talking about. What you got is not love. You don't even know what love is. Because if you did, you would never be in a situation like this. You were groomed. You were groomed from a young age to do the things that you're doing right now. And it's expected for you to do exactly what you were groomed to do. Your mom and dad were supposed to provide you with security when that predator came into your life. Just that simple. And to be honest with you, until we start having conversations like that with our kids, these type of things will always continue to happen. Until we accept the fact that there are some bad people out there that are after our children, things like that is gonna continue to happen. We need to talk about things like that as early as possible just so we could make them aware of that possibility. And parents, please listen to your kids, allow them to feel free to speak their mind. Don't just put them in a corner just because they are kids. Understand the same way you have feelings, understand the same way you could be going through stuff, your kids can also be going through stuff. And this is your job as parents to do what's needed to protect your kids at all times. On that note, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If I've missed something in the process, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.